old furniture and giving it a new look. Amy, show us how you transform John's old cabinets, please, because you did an incredible job. Thank you. The first thing we're going to do, this is actually John's kitchen cabinet. Oh, John, you poor man. John. <laughs> what happened to you? This is the upper cabinet. What would we find on old kitchen cabinets that have been used for 20 or 30 years? Probably a lot of a lot weird of paint? stuff. Yes, a lot of grease oh, and yeah. grime. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we need to do is clean them. So oh, I've got okay. a product that's called Clean Slate that's uh -huh. going to take all that grease and grime off. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give this to you. Kelly all wants right. to take grease and grime off, she told yes. me. She, she, <laughs> she wants a clean that. slate. She yes, clean kitchen slate. cabinet. All right, so just wipe that down for me. Wonderful. Now, while you're doing that, that is going to take a lot of wax residue off as well. Elbows in there, man. Oh, I got it, darling. Go, now, mi hot down. go Mr. Get Miyagi there. on it. <laughs> now, wax on, wax off. This is the other great thing about doing this is a lot of DIYers are like, I'm not going to sand, strip, or prime this. You don't have to. Most, really? Yes. All I need is the paint. It's and a so paint expensive brush. to hire somebody. It is. it is. But no, this is changing the game for that. Right. So you want to dip the brush into the paint, offload it on both sides, enough to be able to take one long pass. So I'm going to show you first, and then I'm going to hand you the brush. Wonderful. All right, so, so with this paint, you don't have to sand anything. It's just ready to, ready to go. I don't have to sand it, strip it, or prime it. I can now, after I've cleaned it, I've gotten the grease and grime off, I'm ready to go. So that's incredible Wonderful. because sanding is the biggest pain in the butt when it, for and me it when it comes to painting. Mess, yeah. Too. Yeah. People yeah. don't want to do that. You over sand, mm -hmm. you have a hole in your wall all oh, of a sudden, yeah. like it's just a pain. That's right. Don't act like it doesn't happen to you guys. <laughs> All right, so just starting up at the upper left-hand corner or right-hand corner, just in long, clean strokes. You are the Bob Ross of cabinetry. I know, right? I love Bob Ross. This allows us to be able to redo the surface on all of the cabinets that we want to keep for less than $100. So, so cool. this is where you start mm -hmm. off. All right, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, so I'm going to pass that on to you. So dip the brush in there. Make sure you offload it. Offload. What stencil? You have some stenciling going on. Now, here, I'm going right? to show you. There's another process that we're going to do first. Okay. So, after we've painted it, this is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to dry. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to put on a second coat. Nice technique, Kel. You really, you're doing impressed. a great job. Yeah. Okay. I love painting. The next thing we're going to do, this is dried. This is our second coat. Okay. And we're going to put on Mind Your Own Beeswax. This is a, just a little bit of beeswax, and then you're going to brush this on just like this. You're going to see how easy it goes on. I'm going to let it dry for about 10 minutes Does and then I'm going to buff it. You smell it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's beeswax. It the smells be like beeswax. I've never smelled beeswax. I don't get, I'm allergic. Now, to beeswax? Yeah, the bees. So I don't, I don't go near their wax. Okay, so you're good. I think no. you're going to be fine. After this dry, I'm going to show you how we did the backsplash. So this is all you're going to need. It's an eighth inch glass is what I use for our backsplash. Mm -hmm. And now, here comes your skill level. Oh, you can my work gosh. This. She's giving me a trigger. Are you trigger. trusting him? I am. So you're going to spray the water. In the air? In the air. Oh. I know. Don't have too much fun. Do I do this? <laughs> so spray it up in the air and let it fall. Okay. And I just want it to look like there's a few droplets over it. I kind of want to do it. Don't overdo it. I want to do it with style, though. Okay, let's go. I feel like we need a helmet or something. This? I don't know. <laughs> you're really doing a great job on this. Is this okay? Whoa. <laughs> It moves. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to change the you nozzle do, just a little bit. And I'm not going to spray up in the air quite so okay. much. But can you see these droplets? Like can we see these on the camera? Yes, no. Oh, yes, definitely. This is really cool because now I'm going to leave those droplets there. Because we're in the studio, I don't want to spray too much. But I want to spray just enough so you can see it. It's a spray paint, regular spray paint. Oh, what this is, is this? This is a lacquer. Oh. So it's a really high gloss lacquer. I'm just going to spray some of this on here. Oh, that's nice. I'm getting a little... Uh... <laughs> You do need to work. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, you do. Ooh, we'll be back. <laughs> okay, Ben. I'm so sorry. Oh no. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. You need okay. to work. You need to work in a ventilated area. Yeah, on definitely. This. I know. This so, kitchen isn't big enough. <laughs> and I'm gonna lay this paper down on top of this. Okay. And okay. press it in like this, and look what it's gonna do. It's gonna lift the yeah. water off of here, and now this is what it looks like. So this was step one. Can you see this? This oh is my just step gosh, one. Yeah. yeah. So what caused those little circles in the paint? What you just did. What I just did. That's yeah. right, uh -huh. with the water. So the next step that I did, I just laid my stencil on the back of this, like this. This looks like Pac-Man. It does. And then I took this gray lacquer, and I sprayed it on here. So that way, it's only showing the pattern 
where I want it to be. Kelly, are you done painting yet? I, I don't know. I'm trying. I don't. I'm trying. I think I'm stuck to the, my door here. Kelly, come stencil. Uh oh. All come right, stencil. that's okay. Good. Let's, let's just let that dry this. now okay, for about. You that. did a great job. Okay. You really, really did. Look, there's stenciling happening here. So there. now, once that dries, I'm just going to come back and put a coat of gold lacquer on top of it, and that's going to show through my little circles. And then I put my white lacquer, and then it's finished. It's a great Absolutely. technique. It's very, very cool.